All right, Shalom. First off, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the elders and apostles with great millstone. And Shashir Shalom to the elect in the four corners of the earth, doing his work in truth and sincerity. Okay. This, this, uh, I just wanted to do a quick little lesson about, uh, or go through some scriptures rather, um, proving that the, um, the, the, the tribe of Judah or the kingdom of Judah, the southern kingdom rather, uh, are people of color. Really all the 12 tribes, excuse me, Salakio, man. The 12 tribes are people of color. So, without further ado, let's go. All right, this is the book of uh, famous scripture. Those who know it know them. This is for the ones who don't. The book of Jerusalem, I mean, <laughs> wow, Jerusalem. Shows you where my head is at, right? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is going up. Now, it says they are black unto the ground, and that's plain. Now, if you go into the Hebrew, there's a Hebrew word there. I'm not sure what it is, if it's Kedar or Chakor, or I think it's Kedar. But if you look up those, if you look up those words, they mean dark skin, right? And it says black, black unto the ground. Now, if you go outside and look at, everybody knows that Adam and Eve were formed out of the dust of the ground. So, you look at the dirt. What color is the dirt? It's already brown. The deeper you go down, the darker it gets. So that's what he was telling. That's what he was saying about the kingdom, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. There were many shades of, of, of brown, light brown to a dark brown, black brown. So, you know, um, let's, uh, let's get another. Let's, uh, let's go to the Songs of Solomon. The book of the book of the songs of Solomon, chapter Salaki, the songs of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. I am black but comely. That's what that's where you get the phrase black and beautiful. Comely is an old English uh, phrase or word for beautiful. So what Solomon is telling you here is I'm black but beautiful. That's where you get the term black and beautiful. You know, what I'm saying? or black is beautiful. Okay. And the word there in that in, in the Hebrew is is it, it means dark skin. And it's gonna tell you, O ye daughters, I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curses that is the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun have looked upon me, my mother's children were angry with me. They made me to keep the vineyards, but mine own vineyards have I not kept. Alright, so you get the point. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the book of Job. See what he said. You got hair textures in here. You got you got skin colors in here. It, it, they don't teach this in church, man, because, you know, a lot of people will get offended. But the scriptures tell you to tell them whether they hear or forbid, man. You're supposed to tell them the truth. If they don't like it, shit. Tell them to kick rocks. They can, they can leave. You ain't supposed to try to keep them or hold them. Just tell them the truth. If they don't listen, they don't listen. Yahweh Shai said, you know, if a man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. <laughs> you told him. All right, let's get the book of Job. All right. Uh... All right, here we go. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burnt with heat. <laughs> that's plain, right? That's that's like plain. That's... What more do you want? Okay. I don't even have to break that down, do I? I don't believe so. All right. I think uh, there's one in Lamentations. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 8. Their visage, meaning their, their image, was just talking about the children of Israel. Their visage is blacker than coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaves to their bones, and it is withered. It has become like a stick. 
That's plain. I mean, okay, here's uh, chapter 5, verse 10. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. You notice we go through a famine, our people go through a famine. You know, our skin gets darker. You know what I'm saying? You know. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Daniel. Let's let's look at some hair textures now. You said, okay, that's the skin. What about the hair? Okay, let's go to the book of Daniel. This is the image of this is the image of Yahweh from by Daniel. This is what this is what Daniel saw in the vision of Yahweh. Okay. The book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse verse nine, Salaki. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of day, that's a, that's another AKA. For Yahweh, that's another nickname for God. So, uh, for who you call God, all right? The ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Nappy, which you would call today now, woolly hair, nappy hair. That's that's we got it. So this is Daniel, and he saw the vision of Yahweh, and Yahweh had an afro. <laughs> all right. So that's plain, man. All right, uh, let's see. I broke, I uh, broke this verse down in another video, but we're gonna do it again. Let's go to Revelations. Revelations chapter one, verse 13. And the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the Son of Man, that's an AKA for Yahweh now. That's that's his nickname. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it's explaining the texture and color of his hair. So when Yah so when John saw Yahweh again after he was banished to the Isle of Patmos. He, he, Yahweh Shai visited him, and he had a full head and a beard of gray hair, which is white, you know, it was white. All right. Now, verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So he, he was dark skinned. Brass is already brown. It's a brown metal already. And it burnt, and it looked like in his feet, and it said that like they burn in the furnace. So it's saying he was an even darker skin. So he saw he saw a black man, so-called black man, what we would call today a black man, from the tribe of Judah, same tribe as the African, so-called African American. So he saw Yahweh Shai, because he was bowing down. He was, you know, he was he was at his foot, he was, he was on his knees. He was bowing down, you know, when he saw Yahweh Shai. So there you have it, man. This this scripture right here just proved that Yahweh Shai is a black man. Who you who you would call today Jesus? All right. So let me get one more scripture. Let me get one more. One more. One more. Um. Okay. Let me go to Google and find this one because I don't quite remember exactly what book it's in. So bear with me, brothers and sisters. Go to Amos. The book of Amos, chapter 9, verse, verse 7. Are ye not to lie? The book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 7. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Question mark. Saith Yahweh, have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, the and the Philistines from Kaftar, and the Syrians from Kerr. All right, so Yahweh right Yahweh right here is 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 comparing us to the children of Ethiopia, Cush, black people. So what he's saying is we look i we look damn near identical to them, and the Egyptians. Because if Moses, so because if Moses passed as the Pharaoh's grandson, 
And you know back then, especially back then, that the that the Egyptians were a black people, a dark skinned people. Then wouldn't that have to be Moses would have had to been dark skinned too? Come on, man. You know? So I just wanted to throw this out there, man. This I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to throw, you know, my little two cents in about this, you know. These are some of my favorite scriptures, man, because, you know, they cuts people who say that the, the Israelites were white, that the angels were white, and Jesus, so-called Jesus, was white, and God is white. That cuts all of that, man. The scriptures is, is no lie, man. All you got to do is read. You got to know how to read it, all right? Let's get that, too. Go to Isaiah, chapter 28, Isaiah 28 and 10, all right, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, so you see how I was reading? You you find you find a verse of scripture that links up in one book to another book in another verse in scripture, and they both link up, giving you more edit edit ed, um edification, so to speak, or or more you know more knowledge on a certain subject. Whatever you're studying on, just in this in this in this instance, or in this particular situation, we're talking about the the uh, skin color, you know, of the Israelites. So it's letting you know, man, Israelites are many different colors, man. All right. Let's get that. So that's and that was letting you I was just I pulled that out just to let you know how to read the scriptures. Cause I mean you can read the whole thing, you know, from front to back, but is you still going to is you gonna understand it? You could only the elect gonna understand this anyway. You, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh Oh, yeah, okay. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 19. Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about her. The, the birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. So what Jeremiah was saying is that his people are many different colors. If you look at a speckled bird, it's a bird with many colors on it. Plain, man. So very light-skinned to a very dark-skinned people. You're going to have many different... And you, our people is, is scattered, you know, too, through the four corners of the earth. So you're gonna have so you're gonna have a uh, confusion of faces that the book of Daniel was speaking about. Confusion of faces mean you you will see somebody that don't look like your typical black, Hispanic, or Native American person. They might look Chinese or they might be from Japan, China, anywhere in Asia, Europe. They might look white, they might be of Irish, Scott, English, uh Brit or um Italian, French, but they're but their father's bloodline goes all the way back to Jacob and not Esau. So just to let you know that. So our people are many different colors, man. But you would tell them by their spirit. All right. Let's get that. Okay. Let's go to Book of Romans. Romans chapter 8. So like Romans chapter 8 verse verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. So you can look at a person, you can tell what you what the young brothers and sisters will call swag or style. Even though he might be, he might look white, he might look Asian or whatever, but their style, they 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 connect with you. They like, yeah, I, he cool, man. I, you know, I like him or her. You, you know, you you get what I'm saying. 
you could tell that person is an Israelite because of how he carry himself, how he talk. You know what I'm saying? His struggle, because his struggle is the same as yours. Even though y'all might look too different, y'all might think y'all two different races, but you're not, because y'all Israelites, and this scripture proves that. Because your spirit bear witness with their spirit, and they spirit bear with witness with your spirit that y'all both is Israelites, the children of God, man, children of Yahweh. Right. So, with that, man, I like to say, uh, all praises to Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, sincere shalom to the elect in the four corners doing the, doing the work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.